Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. HAL's IMRH or Indian Multi-Rule Helicopter Program is going to get much needed big boost. As per the latest report from Economic Times, Indian Navy has decided to onboard India's most ambitious indigenous helicopter development plan. The move will provide the required boost to the project that intends to save Rs 2 lakh crore import bill for military platforms in the coming years. The Indian Army and Indian Air Force had already committed themselves to the project. With Indian Navy also agreeing to the joint project, India could see eventually domestic manufacturing of hundreds of indigenous medium lift choppers to serve a variety of roles from transporting troops to high altitude areas to anti-ship and submarine operations. The scale model testing has already been completed successfully and the first test flight is expected for IMRH by 2025 or 2026. The next stage where the prototypes are to be built will require a fund infusion of estimated rupees 10,000 crore into the project. HL has gained significant achievement and expertise in developing of helicopters for multiple roles. Starting with the licensed product Cheetah and Chetak, HL has transformed itself to indigenously develop utility and combat helicopters such as ALH Dhruv, ALH Rudra, LCH, LUH and now IMRH. IMRAH belongs to 13-ton class of helicopters, being designed to replace MI-17 helicopters of Indian Air Force and will be better than MI-17 B-5 in all major aspects. Considering the requirement of our armed forces, it's estimated that Indian Air Force, Army and Navy will procure 200, 114 IMRH helicopters respectively. IMRH is medium lift helicopters with combat capabilities such as counter-insurgency operations, troop support and evac operations. It is designed to operate in extreme weather conditions and high altitudes. IMRH is going to be 25.16 meter long with a height of 2.41 meter and width of 4.74 meter. It will be the most spacious helicopter in its category with troop carrying capacity of 24 to 36. It will have 5 foldable blades in main rotor made up of, of composite material. The tail will have 4 rotor blades. The IMRH will have 4 hard points where it can carry 4 anti-tank guided missiles and each hard point can carry a payload of up to 300 kgs. It can also carry 500 kgs of payload on the hard point near fuselage. In total, it will have weapon payload capacity of 1600 kgs and overall payload capacity of 4000 kgs. At an altitude of 4.5 kilometers, it can carry a payload of 1000 kgs which is best in its class. It will also be equipped with electronic warfare suite and self-protection jammer. The IMRH will have a range of 800 km and service ceiling of 6500 meters. It will have a maximum cruising speed of 260 km per hour. The main frame of IMRH will be mostly built up of composite materials, keeping it light and stealthy in design. The airframe has been designed in modular fashion which will aid in the fast production and assembly of the helicopter. The IMRH cockpit will have a full class smart cockpit with AI enabled and wide area multifunctional display. The helicopter will have a twin engine with dual channel FADEC and 200 kW power. It will also have an APU with a battery for redundancy in case of engine failure. The digital design and the wind tunnel test of the helicopter and its component is complete. The three prototypes of this helicopter is expected on which various trials will be performed. This helicopter is going to be best in the class of utility helicopters with combat capabilities which can provide enough firepower and support when needed. This platform can further be enhanced to build Apache class combat helicopters. The digital design and the wind tunnel test of the helicopter and its component is complete. The three prototypes of this helicopter is expected on which various trials will be performed. The naval version of IMRH is going to have a longer range and higher payload capacity. The chopper is likely to have two versions 
an anti-surface and submarine role and a mission role. It also have a specialized gear for marine operations including a sonar and sea scanner radar. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.